now that we're kind of looking at the entrepreneurial side, can you also talk to me about Behind Every Dream? Because I know it is a podcast, but it seems like it's growing into something more. Maybe it already has. Yeah. I think everything is kind of in the works. And again, it's been a huge, huge, huge learning for me. But Behind Every Dream for me is kind of just like that that cozy spot on the internet that celebrates everything I love at a much more concentrated level, right? So while I share the behind the scenes of my life on social media, of course, I'm sharing glam shots too, and I'm sharing cool experiences and cool highs also. Behind Every Dream is kind of a place to centralize all of the messy moments of all of our lives. Like today, Shivani Bhavna, me as a human, I'm experiencing messy you're experiencing messy in your life. And my accountant friend is experiencing messy in his life. My doctor friend is experiencing messy in her life, right? But where is that one place where we can all celebrate a lot of these behind the scenes moments? And for me, more than even like a online page, it's kind of just the way we even show up offline, the way we each show up on Instagram. And I, I'll, I'll tell people, right? Like today, if I was to scroll through your Instagram, what are three things that I'd learn about you, right? So I'd say, okay, he runs this podcast. He went to Michigan. Um, he lives in North Carolina. Well, there's three things that I can deduce from your social media. But there are probably three other things in your real life that I'm unable to do from your social media because you're not sharing all this other behind the scenes. And it's not necessarily that you have to share everything on social media, but just being aware that every per single person on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube, on any platform in real life also has their own behind every dream moment. And like knowing that so that we can, I think, all feel more reassured that we're all in the same boat. I love that because it's like the exact, it's not necessarily the exact opposite of what social media is, but it's the exact opposite of how social media kind of shows up today. Yes. And I, I feel like it's something that I have been preaching, I think, since I moved to India, like, in 2018, and just always feeling like no one shows the shit in this industry. Like, okay, I landed an internship from this Melanie. Someone's going to be like, wow, that's so cool. How did you do it, Shivani? Where is the answer to that? That's what I want to be able to share. Oh, Shivani, you landed this really cool good at AVS okay, I want to show you that there were like seven internships before that, me working for my boss's friend's company, thinking that he would give me a good review. To, like all of that stuff, that is your behind every true moment. And today, someone's going to listen to this podcast and be like, wow, this is a really cool conversation. I wonder how he got Shivani on this podcast and how he got this conversation. And no one's going to see that we rescheduled this at 3 a.m. and then you edited this and then this happened. Right? No one gets to hear about that. But like, that's the meat of your grind to create this into a killer episode so to anyone listening to this or is it scrolling and just feels like man all this good is happening in her life or man I'm so jealous like that happened and why isn't it happening for me everyone has had their fair share of like bumps you know to make that glam happen 